back to Creative Tuesdays with Liz. I'm very excited to be here again today as we come together and create. Um, I really look forward to this time and I just love it. And I hope that you guys do too. Um, today you will need um, brown construction paper, other colors of construction paper, scissors, glue, um, either crayons or colored pencils, and you'll need a black and a white um, for each of those. So what we are going to do today, we are going to make an open box picture. And I got this idea from, I was visiting one of my schools and um, the art teacher there, Stephanie Trusel, had their the classes do these open box pictures. And I saw them, she had them hung up on the walls and I saw them when I walked in and I just loved them. I thought they looked so good. And I thought, oh, definitely we could surely do this. So um, I got really excited about it. And so I hope that you guys will enjoy this too. You will need to either the template of the box that I provided for you, you can print it off on brown paper or you can just print it off and trace it on brown paper and cut it out. But you will need to have it cut out and ready. So what you will do with this, we're going to use our black crayon or colored pencil on the box. And we are going to just shade in certain areas. Like if you were looking at a box, you know, the insides of it would be kind of darker, kind of have a shadow to it. So where we are going to start shading is we are going to do these, the inside sides. We're going to start right here and just color those in. Kind of, we'll do kind of heavy at the bottom of this triangle. Let me just kind of show you. So we'll kind of color in some of that with our black colored pencil kind of heavy and then we're gonna color in that whole area but the rest of it will color a little bit lighter so as we get closer to the top so that it looks like the deeper it is the darker it is in our box so you don't know if you guys can see that but so we will shade in these little areas of our box and go ahead and do the other side We're just going to give them some shadow there and give it, give our picture some depth, make our box look like it's really a box. So we've got this done. Then we are going to do this back part, like the very back side of the box that's on the inside. And we're going to color, color it not quite as dark as we did the sides, but um, so we will color those um, with our black crayon or colored pencil and not as dark as what you did the sides though and if you want to get a little lighter as you come up to the top you can get a little bit lighter all right so we've got our back side now these are the sides of the box that actually close when you get ready to close up your box and we are going to shade in some of the areas that are like it's really up close front to you so they're coming this way so we're going to shade this bottom part of the box flaps there just a little bit you can kind of do that like you did the back side so we'll shade those just a little bit All right, then the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to shade underneath this flap, this flap of the box right here. We're gonna take our black crayon or our black colored pencil and just shade in under that like it's a shadow. And you can color kind of heavy right at the line of it and then get a little bit lighter so see, I've kind of got a dark line and then I'm going to do just a little bit of a light line underneath there. Some light shading. And like I said, this, the shading and the highlights and the shadows, that's going to give our picture, our picture some depth. It's going to look like it's not 
flat. So um, we'll have that. And then we are going to come and we'll shade just very lightly right down the side right here. And we'll shade that side. so your box now kind of looks more three-dimensional like it really does look like if you were to see a box open how the inside would be kind of darker than the outside pieces that you see um, the the front piece that's underneath the flap that you close up yeah it's gonna be darker because this flap is laid over that's where all the light is getting to that so We'll have that, so you can put your shaded box to the side. Then we're gonna create kind of like a table for our box to sit on. You can get um, scrapbook paper, decorative paper, um, newsprint, or you could draw a table on there if you wanted to. Um, so we just get just a plain rectangle. That's all you'll need for your, for your table. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down, our table. So we'll get that glued down into place. Alright, and then we will glue our box like it is sitting on the table. So we're going to glue our box sitting on the table like this. So you can turn your box over, put glue on the back of it. there is our box on there. Now you will use other colors of construction paper and you can either have an open box of love, an open box of good luck, or an open box of wishes. So if you wanted to create an open box of wishes, you can draw and cut out some different size stars on your paper. So we'll have some stars that you can draw and cut out in different sizes. Um, if you want to have an open box of good luck, you can draw some different size four leaf clovers and cut out. Um, or your open box of love, you can draw and cut out some different sizes of hearts. So that's what I am going to do. I'll cut out some hearts on this one. And I like to just save all the paper that I use from stuff and um, I'll have some scrap paper. So I'm just going to save all these, these pieces that I've already saved and use. I'll use those. And we're just going to draw some different sized hearts. The thing is, using scrap paper, you might not be able to get a really big one. But if you do want to recycle and use your scrap paper that you've already used for something else, you can definitely do that. Um, and if you wanted to have you some templates cut in different sizes, you can do this. So you can just trace them instead of drawing them um, each time. Like I did not do this one very good, so I'm going to redo it. And I just really want you to enjoy this. Just enjoy creating this um, and just making it however you want to. So I am going to cut me out. I like to save time cutting. So I'm going to cut a large red one and a large green one. And I'm just going to hold my green paper underneath my red one and cut them at the same time. So then we'll cut out our large hearts here. Alright, and then I'm going to have some smaller hearts. And I'll draw and cut. 
cut out. And like I said, you can do hearts um, for a, a box of love, stars for your wishes, uh, four leaf clovers for good luck, or you could do um, maybe a horseshoe shape for good luck, but whatever you wanted to, to do. Um, you can take your shapes and just have different sizes and different colors cut out of your shapes. And we'll have those ready to use. And then I'm going to make an even smaller one. And then that way I'll have a good many to choose from to put on my paper. So these are some little hearts here. All right. Now, where we're going to use our white crayon or white colored pencil, we are going to take the shapes that we used and we are going to create some highlights on them. So you're going to get your white crayon or colored pencil and we're going to color just a little white um, highlight spot on them. See, kind of like a, like a balloon if you would, would see a balloon, kind of just a little highlight spot. And you're going to do this on all the shapes that you cut out. Well, you want to do it on all the ones that you use on your paper you'll use, you'll draw a little highlight on. And you might not use all the shapes that you cut, so if you want to um, glue them down first and then wait for your glue to dry, then you can go back in and add your highlight pieces. So even the little one there. And some little highlight on it. All right, now we will get ready to glue them down. So I will put, I'm going to glue the biggest one just kind of on the top, like it's coming out of the box there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight or anything like that. They're like just hearts floating out of the box. We're letting all our love out so we can share it with other people. So we'll glue that down. And then I'll glue another big one down on it. And to show you this, um, so we'll have, where's one I did my coloring on? Here we go. So to make it look like it's coming out of the box, if you want to do that, you can take this line right here where it kind of divides the inside and see where that is. You can just cut you off a flat spot of your a straight line, little flat spot. And we can glue that on there right, right there like it's coming out of the box where the inside of the box would be. So that way, you know, if it's inside the box and coming out, you do only see part of it. You don't see all of it. So any of them that you, you have coming out of the box, you can do like that. Just snip you off a little straight piece um, from the bottom there. And this one I'll have like it's coming out just a little bit more than the yellow one. And I'll glue it on there. And then you can glue the rest of them on any way that you want to. You can have um, as many. I would say you might want at least five hearts, I guess, depending on how large they are. But um, you can have more than that if you want to or less than that if you want to as well. I'll have to put a little highlight on this one when it dries. But yeah, so it's our open box of love and this one is some shamrocks that i did so some open box of irish pride coming out um 
before we do so i hope that you have enjoyed today's project um please take a picture of it and post it on social media and tag us the lancaster county council of the arts in it and next week we will come together and create some kite art so you will need construction paper scissors glue um, and party streamers if you do want to take it outside and let it run up in the air behind you, you'll need some tape and some yarn or some string. So um, I look forward to next week as we come together and create our kites, and I will see you then. Thanks.